airways are oversensitive or hyper-responsive to certain triggers. If an airway meets a trigger, three things can happen. Inflammation. The airway lining becomes swollen and red. Inflammation to the lining of the small airways causes the airway to become narrower, so there is less room for the air to flow. This makes the patient feel short of breath. The inflammation makes the airway feel irritated and can cause the patient to cough. Air being forced through a narrower tube can whistle. Normal airways tend to narrow naturally when we breathe out. So a narrowed airway is more likely to whistle on expiration, giving the classical wee sound when the patient breathes out. Mucus production. The airway responds to the trigger by producing more mucus or phlegm. This lines the inside of the airway, causing the airway to become narrower, so there is less room for the air to flow. This can make patients feel short of breath and wheeze. The mucus can block smaller airways, making the patient feel even more short of breath. Patients may also cough up some of the mucus. Bronchoconstriction tightened muscles. The smaller airways are wrapped in a layer of muscle. This muscle can contract or tighten in response to a trigger, which squeezes the airway and makes it narrower, causing wheeze and a feeling of shortness of breath. This is called bronchoconstriction. The muscle can be forced to relax using a bronchodilator like salbutamol.